since you guys seem to love reaction videos and this one has 18 million views uh yeah this one's for you guys so if you're in the ski industry you've probably seen this video already like i said it has 18 million views posted by poor judgment great title for this video it is skier survives fall off a 150 foot cliff it's absurd it's absolutely absurd. So if you're a connoisseur of skiing such as myself, then you might've seen other videos like this where people fall off of like 100, 200, 300 foot cliffs and land in like a shit ton of powder and somehow make it out alive. What I want to do today was on the lines of this video, we're going to watch it. We're going to break this video down. Watch homie fall off a 150 foot cliff with his very, uh, very just chillax looking face. I don't know how he's so mellowed about this, but he's mellowed about it. But then I kind of want to show you some other crazy ones I watched growing up as a kid. Kind of cover those ones too because they're also absolutely insane. Like crazy insane and yeah today's video let's dive in so the video starts off our homeboy we're gonna call him steven mr steven here mr steven long dong he's just cruising down the mountain he's having a good time it looks like a nice powder day homie's just getting it he's like ah oh, yeah i'm gonna get some powder over here nobody's gone over here my friends haven't gone over here little one sec we got a little yeet off this bush i'm gonna hit some air catch some air land some air you know this is where things get serious he lands that air and he looks and he's like oh fuck and then he just, he heard the little fuck. Oh my God. That was the most insane drop ever. To be able to like hop over like a little bump and then like bounce and that, that moment of fear in his eyes must have been insane just to like realize how badly you fucked up. So as you just heard, homie thinks he's good. His ribs, his back hurt maybe a little bit, but I mean, grand scheme of things, come on. Like we look at this, he hits right here. And right here, like, again, you're coming over this. It could look like it kind of rolls a bit, but once you go off this part, you realize you fucked up. You're like, oh, it doesn't roll. And then you're like, oh, wait, I am now like 150 feet in the air. And at this point, like, this is not a steep landing. So again, I don't know how he rode out of this like that well. I think honestly, it might've hurt more if he landed on water than snow like this. Landing on your side on water this high would absolutely kill. And right here, you know, he just drops a little F-bomb because he's like, oh, I'm going to die. Somehow lands in this powder, goes fully to his back. He decides to backdrop on purpose, which is, I think is a great idea. Instead of going side shoulder and everything like that, I think that could have been worse. And yeah, lands on his back pretty perfectly and avoids his neck. And somehow, somehow, dude, somehow Mr. Steven Longdong is okay. Absolutely insane. Uh, that's our first video of the day. All right, so we're searching on biggest cliff jumps on skis. I'm, you guys probably have seen this. This is the world record ski jump. I don't even know if you can call it a ski jump if you don't plan on landing it. I, that's, I'll leave that one up to you guys. Just figure that out in the, in the bottom. Teton Gravity Research. Everybody knows who they are if you're in the skiing world. This video is crazy. And homie who decided to do this, Stephen Longdong number two, he's a maniac. You can clearly see that he is buried in the snow. I don't know why you would want to do this without some sort of parachute or something. Just to say like you fell off a 200 and whatever meter cliff and lived. It's pretty crazy to think I'm just going to drop off this cliff with no chance of uh, landing it. And here he goes. Yeah. So he's grabbing a mute grab quickly. You know, you got to do it for JP Eau Claire. And oh my God, he just falls into a little speck in the... In the He's a speck. He's a speck. And that is a wow. Straight to his back, like the other guy, Mr. Stephen Longdong, number one. See how he pulls the chute to back? I think that's the best play, but I think he overcorked it a little bit there. You look at where he lands on his back, and it is just not. I think it's just a little oversauced. Like, you look right here, like that looks a little too backseat for me. At that point, he's kind of diving down, but uh, so gnarly. Clearly, there's a lot of snow there. That's absurd. Like, look at this. This is insane. Now you can retire, he says. As long as I hold the world record for it once, I can retire. That's an absurd way of thinking, but I respect it, man. And uh, at least like Stephen Longdog number one, this one was planned out. I don't know if that makes it worse. We talked about a quad front flip. I saw the other day that videos uh, somewhere on my channel. It's like uh, at some point you're you're making a really dumb call to do things like this. But you know what? I respect it. That was insane. Let's go look at this other world record because there's now two world records. You guys can let me know down below which one you think is the world record, but uh, this one looks like it's gonna be absolutely insane too. Definitely from a French dude, so, you know, those French guys are crazy. They're always doing gnarly stuff on skis. March 18th, let's clock in, time to go. The helicopter never showed up, so I realized something was wrong, but I never thought it was as bad as that. He jumped a big cliff on the wrong place. 
don't follow his tracks. Get away of his tracks, please. I got pretty scared. I uh, thought he was, uh, I don't know, I wasn't sure if my, one of my best friends were still alive, so... It was supposed to be a warm-up run. Uh, such an easy phase. Here goes Fred. Let's see what we got. Nice powder field, man. Looks like a beautiful Sunday out in the world. Fred's having a good time. This is where everything kind of goes wrong, you know? He takes a little too far to the right, it looks like here. And right here, just, he's like, holy shit, that's a steep cliff. Let me ski around here a little bit. He's lucky he didn't fall off down there, actually. He, he went down a little little more than he could, but he got, sh he got stuck in a chute, and there was no way out of that. That is absolutely insane. Look at that drop he fell off of. Wow. This is why you always know your lines by heart before you go out. I'm sure he did too, but accidents happen and he's really lucky to be alive. That is a crazy, crazy fall. Going very fast off the cliff. You can see the lines way uh, beyond the cliff edge. And, uh... All these guys are very lucky to have got out of here alive in one piece. This is not the typical park skiing content that we normally do on this channel, but I just thought these, this was super cool. And I used to love these videos growing up as a kid. Obviously guys, this is like, you have to be safe. You have to be careful when you're doing everything. I thought these videos are great and don't do this. Simple as that. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Bruce. Travel around, ski, compete in World Cups and stuff like that and uh, create content around it. And you know, break down some weird ass stuff that happened in the skiing and uh, yeah, follow me, subscribe you idiots. Love you. Well, doses.